Normally when you find a coin, there's usually gonna be coins around the area. I'm definitely ahead of Kitty. Oh my goodness. Yay. I think I've just found a ring. Wow. Tested positive for gold. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Polly. My name is Kitty. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We have our metal detectors out and we're gonna do some beach detecting. This beach gets so packed during the summer months, especially around the August long weekend, which just recently passed. So hopefully we will find some coins, jewelry. Pop cans. That's you. What, what? Let's do this. So I'm using this brand new metal detector. It was originally from White's, then Garrett bought out White's and then recreated their Gold Master. So for the first time ever, I get to try this and uh, see how we do. I'm pretty new at metal detecting. I've only done it a couple times with Paul. I thought we'd actually be able to cover this beach pretty quickly. I'm slowly realizing we have a lot of area to cover. So we are on Harrison Lake. It's just outside of Hope, British Columbia. It's actually the first day you don't smell the smoke from the fire. For sure after this, I'm going in. What is in here? Oh. oh, it's my ring. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is going to be a long day. Ooh, a fire truck. When I was growing up, anytime I saw somebody using metal detector at the beach, I always thought they were really creepy. I don't know if you can hear that. Yep. All right. So I didn't bring a pinpointer, of course. So we're just gonna have to do it this way. Nope. 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 Oh, oh. okay. How lucky, a Corona coin. I need to get my head in the game and start finding something and covering this beach properly. I have a smaller target here, 36, three. Okay, I'm not gonna do the same thing with my ring. First big find of the day, a little piece of tin foil. Foiled again. Oh my gosh, I found Corona. <laughs> the only thing I've caught so far is Corona. <sighs> found a car. I found something here, but I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh, we had some people partying this weekend. Woo! Hey guys, are you here to help me? You guys are good at scavenging and finding things. So all of the times I've metal detected on a beach, <clears throat> once, I've never found so much valuable treasure. <laughs> nice. It's a tent stick, a beautiful hair tie. <laughs> Looks like an aluminum piece of some sort. A ninja turtle. Ooh. Just found some Lego. I think I'll stick to gold panning. I've only made 50 cents today. <laughs> Still fun though. Oh, no. <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, finally, five bucks. I'm pretty sure that's more money than Kitty's found today. Oh, right there actually. Didn't even need to dig that deep. Nice. Quarter. No way. I found a stapler. This is actually incredible. I just found another stapler and a bucket. Give me your treasure. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know where I could find the lost treasure? Another bucket. A good place to lose treasure. Right here is a volleyball court. Oh, wait, never mind. That's not a volleyball court. It's like a walkway. So Kitty and I just detected a few beaches on that side, but we have one more to check out to hopefully find a diamond gold. Look how big this beach is. We're not gonna cover all that, are we? I have a plan. I'll start at that end, you start at this end, and we'll meet at the middle. Paul, where are you going? The, the lagoon's that way. Gold and treasure's that way. There's a park right here. But Paul, you, come, come, no, no, Paul, time to work. Yeah. Paul. I'm gonna go down the slide. Oh, okay, one time. One time. Oh, that one's too steep. Yeah? Yeah, this one's not as steep. <laughs> Yay. The slide was hot. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, cool. <laughs> a gold coin. Katie, I'm rich. Woo! Normally when you find a coin, there's usually gonna be coins around the area. I just found another target and I could see it right there. That is a quarter. 25 cents of Rudinials. Cool. Oh, oh, look at that. Like I said, coins are usually around other coins. I'm definitely ahead of Kitty. Okay, can you hear this? It's treasure. 1984 Canadian penny. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Two dollars. There's another one. Another quarter. How drunk were these kids? Let's hope they lost some rings now. Bucket number three. Bucket number four. Number five. Oh, weird. Number six. Another coin. I like cats. All right, I'm heading straight to the shade because I need a break. It's way too hot for Polly. I don't know what it is. It looks like a nickel, but I can't really tell, so I'll wash it off. Some sort of unidentifiable an unidentifiable coin. I'm going to set up a shot for Paul right now. I'm going to tell him that he needs to detect all the way to the water. And I'll tell him that he needs to stop once he hits about his knees so his backpack doesn't get wet. But I'm actually not going to say anything and I'm just going to see how far he goes. <laughs> I wanted to see you keep going. I'm I was just go. waiting for to see the toque, like just above the water. <laughs> yeah, my phone's in my bag, so I, I can't go too deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Ah, finally a shovel to put all my buckets. Oh no. Okay. I don't even know if I was filming that whole time. I hope I was. Oh my goodness. I think I've just found a ring. Ooh, my very first noodle. Wow. Look how, like, I, I barely moved any of the sand back and it was sitting pretty much right underneath the surface. I just called Paul over. He was sitting over there by the shade waiting for me to make my pass around the lagoon. I got a noodle, I got a noodle. I was honestly feeling a little bit discouraged. Kitty's calling me. Hopefully she found something good, but she's probably just pranking me. Are you pulling my noodle? Oh, hey. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Uh, man, that's a nice surprise after all the uh, tinfoil we've found and, you know, a coin here and there. I didn't think that we'd find something and lo and behold, I think there's diamonds in it too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> there you go. That is a big ring. Wow. Uncover it there, but just don't pull it all the way out. Just, just roll it onto your hand from right there because it's in frame. No way. Wow! <laughs> I don't know if it's real or not, but that's a big ring. I swear I didn't plant it. You promise? I pinky promise. That is incredible. Uh, <laughs> is there any writing on the wow. inside? Wow, look how shiny that is. Yeah, it does. We don't know if it's real or not. A nine nine one six K D M. That's initials. K D M probably. Nine one point six grams of gold per one hundred grams. I'm just curious to know more history about it. Well, I think it was handcrafted in 1941 by a guy named Eliza jo Jeffries. He he settled to the the northern boat. If you knew that he lost it here, why didn't you come looking for it earlier? He got shot by a potato gun. <laughs> Did you see my noodle? I found a blue noodle, Pardon it's me. over there. So after about an hour of detecting and finding more garbage and a few more coins, one dollar. we decided to call it quits. High five, that is awesome. So both Kitty and I are now calling it a day. We did a lot of detecting and this beach is starting to get packed full of people, but we did good so far. I found a lot of coins, lots of garbage. Kitty found lots of garbage and also she found the best find of the day. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That is definitely one of the most unique finds I've 
ever come across in my time in the outdoors. I didn't expect to find it and I'm sure glad we did. I am just a little disappointed though that I didn't have it on film, the uncovery, the reveal of the whole thing because it was right under the surface, a couple swipes of my hand and it just sat there glowing. So pretty neat if you ask me. Above the ring, I like to highlight all the toys I found. I found a neat fire truck, a couple staplers, a cool red noodle, and even a shovel full of buckets. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring these toys to the playground so kids and myself have an opportunity to play with them. And then all the money, we're just gonna pick a random person and see if they want it. Paul, you might want to use that money for your $50 parking ticket. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a $50 parking ticket. No! <laughs> So what I'm about to show you was very awkward. I am a hooded, barefooted stranger walking into a park with a bag full of toys for kids. Oh, and asking the adults to take my money. Enjoy. Okay. We have all those toys I found. I don't know who wants money. Um, uh, I don't want to interrupt you or nothing. I do mail detecting and I find stuff all the time. I found all this, these coins. Do you want it? You don't want the money? Okay. Nope. Excuse me. I don't want to interrupt or nothing. I usually do mail detecting and I always find stuff and even coins. Like, do you want this? I don't need it. It's okay. You want it? I'm trying to give it to somebody. I just don't know who wants to take it. It's just free. No, no, it's all right. Yeah, I don't want to interrupt or nothing, but I do lots of mail detecting and I find things all the time. And I have a handful of change and I'm just trying to, I always give it back to people before I leave. Not mine. Not mine? It's not mine either. I just, no. You want it? No? Okay, I just don't know where to put it. Don't buy some. Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> Do you guys want free money? No, Mail detecting? Either. I don't want no, thanks. it. <laughs> it's free money. Literally no one wants to take it. Hi. Do any of you guys want free money found mail detecting? I don't want it. And literally no one wants to take it. Oh. I just found it. And people are like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> it's don't I don't want it. <laughs> like literally everyone's saying no, I don't know where to put it. <laughs> Thank you. This is really awkward. Yep. Hey man, do you want free money? Mail detecting? Yeah. Everyone's saying no. Okay. You can keep it, man. You deserve it. Thank you. Another bucket. Do you want free money? You can have free money. Why is everybody saying no to my money? What? Everybody think everybody doesn't want it. Why? Because I'm probably creepy and I'm scaring them. <laughs> Actually? Yeah. <what> I, <laughs> I gave the money to a Sasquatch statue. We ended up going down the road to a jewelry shop where we got the ring tested. We are getting nothing, so these are not. Knew it. No, you, did you know it actually? <laughs> Unfortunately, the diamonds tested not real. However, after doing a quick acid test, the gold came back positive. Why would someone have a ring with all these fake diamonds, but it's potentially made of real gold? Or well, plated at least. I cannot answer that. The only thing I can tell you is this just tested positive for gold. It just, oh. it's, it's a very high carat gold. So is it, is it a plating, do you think? No, I think The whole thing is gold? I believe it is gold. So, fake diamonds, but real gold. How do you feel? I still had a lot of fun finding it. And just that unknown, right? Like not knowing how much it was worth and the mystery behind the whole thing and trying to figure out what the inscriptions meant on the inside. It was all fun. That's amazing. It looks, it's mine. It looks good on you. <laughs> Thanks. So that is it for this adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, metal detecting for stuff isn't really my thing unless it's like looking for gold, but because of all the fires we've been having lately, my access to my claims are closed, so I'm stuck to do other things. But if you liked it, please let me know by leaving a like, comment, or subscribing to the channel. If you wanna see anything else extra, I do have an Instagram open where I do post extra stuff. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, black screen with logo. I got a noodle, I got a noodle.